Let's go have a chit chat with Harry. Hey, Harry. See what our weird looking friend has to say. Was he actually going to speak? What? Ah, oh, dang it. Mr. Francis York Moore, Ugh. please have some tea while it is hot. Too much coffee for your body will make it rot. Please shut up. You seem well prepared. Almost as though you knew I would be coming today. Mr. Stewart is particular about the best timing for all things. Now please, drink some tea and enjoy the good health it brings. I'm sorry, Harry, but I just don't like tea. It's roofied. Mr. Francis York Moore. Some tea with sugar is what's best admired by your body that looks so tired. So says Mr. Stewart. Takes me forever to say that. <laughs> yes, that's what I said. Harry, hey. where did you get these seeds? Neat. Oh, gee. <laughs> All right, all right, come on. Let's wrap this up. Mr. Francis York Morgan, those seeds were found in our town in a certain specific place. More seeds are there, you will see, when you find that certain space. Come back to me and we shall talk after you find that certain place. So says Mr. Stewart. Harry, so you like to play games? <laughs> Mr. Francis York Moore, a hint for you to find this location. It is most crowded and most quiet, and gives a cold sensation. So says Mr. Stewart. I'm guessing it's the uh So you're not going to talk unless I find the this graveyard place. I'll play along. I'm assuming the graveyard. That this made me think great Oh, that's the end of that chapter already. Okie dokie then. On to chapter fifteen. <laughs> I'm only at eight grand. Which is what I need. Kind of want to. Zack, let the treasure hunt begin. A crowded place, and yet it is very quiet there. Have you figured it out, Zack? Must be the graveyard. That's what I was thinking. There's lots of people there, but none of them can speak. You see? So let's get going to the graveyard. To the graveyard, to the graveyard. Well, I don't know if I want to go there just yet. Um, how much... <laughs> how, uh, how much... Gas is left in our milk barn truck. Oh, jeez. We're going to drive it like this. For a little bit. Just to see how fun it is to drive it like this. It's not as fun as what you think. <laughs> oh god. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh no. Okay, it's it's a lot more difficult. There we go. What did Did you see that car just fall from the sky? Zack, if you notice anything, just stop me. I noticed that car fell from the heavens. Is it an angel car? 
heart. No. Alright, well, I'm going to head back to our favorite place. Mark, I'm going to go get a new car. And then I'm going to... We're going to do... We're going to do some things. We're going to do a couple things. Oh, jeez. Stop saying that! Oh, wait. I didn't need to turn there. Crap. Bing. Nope. Back up! Oh, great. Can we not... Can we not back up? Well... Now it's, oh, there we go. I was to say, now it's just awkward. Oh, jeez. No! Not jeez! Not jeez! Oh! Oh, crap! Oh, shnikes! Oh, balls! Say anything else other than that. <laughs> hey, let's go get a new car. We've got so many cars to pick from. Also, I'm in a new suit. The green suit. Um... Sure, let's pick Keith's car. This can only go as amazing as possible, right? Because he's the... Mm. Sure. Let's let's hear what it, what we got with it on our way to the graveyard. Ah. Uh. Eh. Uh. Oh. Ah, uh, Snakies. Zach, we can take a rest if you're tired. Bow, 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 bow. I just want to listen to the song and see if it's like different, because the whistle song was different. Just enjoy a nice drive. Nice drive. That almost held it. There is more to it. Yeah. We're in slow down there. Oh, okay. Let's see, let's see. Are the frames worse? I'm not gonna look at the road. That's that's silliness. Silly, silly to look at the road. It's like kind of like a mix of like a de detective like jaunt and then rockabilly. <laughs> No, no, frame rate! No, I've got frames! Ah, frames, they killed me! Also, every car has, like, a little panel in it. Well, Lily's van didn't, so I guess not all of them. More money for driving farther! Alright, let's check this out. Let's see what's in... Let's see what's in here. That, that was a nice little music that we heard. Just as Harry said, it's crowded and quiet. That sounded quiet, sure. <laughs> hey, Brian. Saw. So Agent. Mr. Agent, how are you? Oh, uh, not bad. I'm, uh, just playing a little game with Harry. What's wrong with the sky? A game? A game? Oh, is that fun? We've no. only just started, Brian. The fun is about to begin. I'd like to ask you something, actually. Is there a tree in the graveyard that drops red seeds? Seeds? Red seeds? That? That tree does. The one on the ground or the one? What do you do? <laughs> and that one. <laughs> and, and that one, too. Do the... All red seeds. <laughs> Do the big red trees drop the red seeds? Oh, no, I didn't see them there before. Oh, boy. 
You know what it's time to do? It's time to equip our trusty... Banger of a shotgun. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Didn't. Sorry. Didn't mean to aim it at your face. That's my bad. My bad. There, I just made it back. I made it back what I spent. Uh, okay, I can't get in. Oh, hello. Before I go nuts and start shooting random things. Oh, what? You want to come at me? You want to come at me? Takes a buckshot to the crotchness. Oh, okay. That was that. Oh, it's sealing us off. Everything good is going to come from this. Wait. You didn't go burn? Because I killed you. Are you getting back up? You're getting back up. That's why. There we go. Are you behind me? Wish there was a quick turn. Quick turns would be nice. Well, don't stick your hand in my mouth. It's unsanitary and grody. Gotta run past y'all. Excuse me. Coming through. I have a gun. It's like a one shot. Sometimes. Oh, jeez. I got it. I gotta move forward. Get out of my way. Get out of here. Get out of here. Shoo. Oh no. I'm gonna get it to the face, aren't I? Oh. <laughs> he, yeah, he got it to the face, all right. That was amazing. I like to say that was better than a uh, a hand in the mouth. Now the shotgun's like coming off as not as good. I was like busting the hard hits. Oh, just I got okay. All right. Um, Great. Amazing. Nice shot. Okay, are all my guns just terabat now? Amazing. Alright then. All the guns are just bad. Oh! Oh! Oh jeez. Okay. Excuse me. Can you get out of my way, please? I am getting, uh, la-cornered. Oh, oh, no. Alright, okay. Now I can aim. Now I can aim. Now I can aim! Cheating ass game? Says the guy with the uh, health regening totem thingy. Okay, that was gonna kill you on principle. There, shut up. I don't care what you want. You're gonna die. You're gonna like it. Oh, the aiming is so bad. 
there. Okay. Wait, never mind. You didn't die. No, you did. There you go. Hello? That was... I said to fight the three guy. Fjork. Exact mission accomplished. Let's get back to Harry's. Why? The reward better be good. Because you got seeds? I don't... But you know, about these seeds... <laughs> what are you doing? They were right here under my nose. It's as if I was carefully carrying a bottle of water while walking in a pool. We're learning the countryside version of common sense the hard way, Zach. What? What? Okay. He's learning the common sense thing the hard way. Can I just go out this way now? Can I shoot blocks or something? <coughs> No. Well, fair enough then. <laughs> Sorry, doggy. Didn't mean to blow you up. I meant to just want to blow up those barrels and stuff. You get nothing out of it. Because that's how life goes. All right. Back to Harry. So, uh, I was driving to Harry's. Oh, okay, gotta go faster. I need, I need to see this. So, uh, there's Quint in his car. Right there. You know, driving as you do in your car. Because this game's just amazing. Like, I want to see what happens when he gets out of his car. So I want to see. I, you know, he's turning in. I'm curious here. I'm invested now, emotionally. Oh, is he still going? No. Okay. All right. Just want to see what you guys do. Oh, you just got out of your car. No. I didn't even hit him. Oh. What a whiny little bitch. Mr. Francis York Morgan, Ugh. finally you have arrived. You are welcome to come inside. Yay. Because it's always my lifelong ambition to keep going back to this guy who infuriates me. Oh, well, okay. Yes, we will save. Is he going to make you like... Is he going to do some weird stuff again this time? Am I going to have to get new umbrellas? Looks like the answer is no. Hey, what? What? I bet this isn't going to have to be used. Mr. Francis York Morgan, <sighs> please proceed to Mr. Stewart's room. Well, tell me what there to do. There he awaits you, I shall assume. Well, you mean you don't know? You don't know for sure? You're just assuming? God, shoot you with this gun. I don't like him, if you can't tell. I don't like him a lot. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Fourteen twenty three twenty six. Fourteen twenty three twenty six. All right. Uh, what? Wait, are the are there numbers on the uh okay. Fourteen, twenty-three, and twenty-six. So fourteen would be 
Where is 14? Uh, I'm gonna... Oh, so that's 10. Four, okay, so 14 would be... This one right here. Alright, so I guess I gotta... Uh, this is gonna this is gonna be painful. Alright, stop. This is really fun. Oh, I have to push it one by one. No. I have to push it once more. Oh, it only went halfway. My bad. Yay. So 23 would be one more over, actually. Up and over. So I'll just, I'll just go over first. Or do I want to do 26? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. May as well, because this one's closer. Do I have to do them in order? I assume I don't have to do them in order. If I do, I'm going to get very angry and I'll pause the video. <laughs> also, once again, does, he have to, does everybody have to do this if they need to come see this? Like, old bat? Like, do they got to, like... You know, do these puzzles. No, nah, okay, it doesn't matter which order you do them in. So now I gotta go to 23. Oh, that was 23. I gotta just go to 26. Wait, no, that was 26. 23. 23. Because it's just one more this way. Mm. Nah. Two, two more. So this one, and then one more. And then I have to push it up like 20 times. You know, no big, no big whoop. If York can do it, we all can do it. See, training in Lily's little, uh, storage area, you know, he really got us primed, pumped, buff. You know, for, for the, oh, no, it didn't. This is just so annoying. Please, it's been like two minutes of just pushing. Three minutes, maybe. I don't know. Okay, we're done. Now a door is going to be unlocked. Which one? I don't know. I'm guessing it's that one. Yay. Where are you now, old man? Oh, over there. Fair enough. Excuse me. Oh. Did that not work? Can I not shoot this off? Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> now I'm just buckshotting all the locks on his doors. Uh, was that the only one? I'm going to assume that was the only one, but I'm going to double check just in case. What's over here on the other end? The winding corridor of death. And I guessed it. Here's another one. Uh, Alright, here we go. Now that that's done, let's go talk to our man, Harry, and see what other cryptic things he has to say with his boy toy, Michael. Be like, Mr. Francis York Morgan, here is something that can rhyme. I hope you don't want to shoot me in the face. And it's, yes, I do. So much. <laughs> Uh oh 
We're not done. Okay, we're done. Any time now. There we go. What the hell? <laughs> Dramatic! Harry, turns out what you said was true. And I'd like to hear more. Clean up the f York, as you know, there's a powerful mystery surrounding these seeds. You've seen them at those other murders that took place elsewhere. And you've seen them deeply involved with the murders in this town as well. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you just right. do this the whole time? But how do you know all this? York, you must be younger than you look. Youngsters tend to hurry so much that they let things slip right past them. What you need to do is slow this down a bit. That way you'll see what's really important. Let me tell you a story. This is the story of years ago, when the war was over, just about when the communist red started to become rising threat, our town constructed a huge clock tower. Then, soon afterwards, a serial killer wearing a red raincoat went on a killing spree. The legend of the raincoat killer? Stop playing games with me, Harry. That's nothing more than folklore. The FBI has no such record of a multiple homicide case in this town. York, Anna, Becky, and now Diane. Their deaths are real, not folklore, not legend. The raincoat killer is also real. But under a strict gag order, the mass murder case was never made public. In fact, one could say that it was completely erased from history. Tell me, who do you think would be able to do something like that? The military. Very good. A model student. But if there are no records about it, then how do you know it really happened? Good question, York. Why would I know this? The answer is very simple. I was there. I saw it with my own eyes. The brutal killer himself. But we can talk about the details of that encounter another time. What we need to talk about is your raincoat killer. The new Raincoat killer, if you will. The new raincoat killer. Yes, let's call him that. After all, he's not the real one. What you want to know more about is the new one. Between 10 and 20 years ago, I noticed that these red seeds were special. Someone else did too. The human imagination can lead to tragedy sometimes. Someone linked the red seeds to the serial killer legend and said, If you eat the red seeds and then kill someone, you will become immortal. This new fabricated legend was passed on. People on 
the other side of the planet may have heard of it by now. And new seeds might be growing in different parts of the world. So you're saying that the series of cases I've been following are all linked to this town? That's interesting, Harry. But there's no evidence to support that story. None of the criminals we caught for the other murders ever mentioned anything like that. It's your job, your role and duty to look into that, York. Now, the game must go on. You know I said that the incident 50 years ago was totally erased. Well, not quite. Records still exist in the sheriff's office. The old sheriff back then hated the military and did his own investigation. I need you to bring those documents here, to me. Once you've done that, I'll tell you everything I know. <laughs> Trustworthy. Okay, it's worth a look. And we may as well let the old man have his fun. Well, that ends that chapter, so when we come back, we will, uh, start the next chapter and, I guess, have to go and steal some documents from the, well, I guess York can just be like, give me them, and George will be like, okay, but we'll see what happens then. Till then, you all take care, and of course, have a good one. <laughs>